Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a little unboxing haul for you guys. Uh, these are some items that I've picked up over the last couple months. Some of them have taken almost a couple months to get in. Um, it's not a major haul, but it's a bigger haul for me, for my channel. So yeah, if you would like to join me and just kind of check these things out and unbox them and see what they look like and how they come packaged, then just keep watching. So the first palette I'm going to show you guys is this Milani palette that I picked up from Winners and it is the Gilded Jade palette. I feel like I saw Ali Gynes use this last year and it just looked so beautiful and I don't have any green colors in my makeup collection so I really wanted to pick up a palette that had green in it. So I'll show you guys the colors and then I'll try swatching a few and see what kind of pigment we get. Uh, let's try a matte color. So I'm going to go in with Jaded. Um, I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. So yeah, really nice pigment. Feels very smooth on the skin. Now, oh, I have some fallout in the pan, but not a big deal when the eyeshadows are a little bit creamier and more pigmented, you get that fallout. So I'm just gonna go in with this shimmery color Laguna. Laguna, Lagoon. Oh, that is so beautiful. Beautiful color. And then maybe I'll swatch Try Me. So this one has got a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm definitely going to do a video using this palette, but I just wanted to show you guys a few swatches. So beautiful, so pigmented, and maybe I'll try one of the highlighters. Oh wow, really creamy. So gorgeous, so gorgeous. So yeah, I found this at Winners for $10, so I'm so excited to try that out in an upcoming video. All right, next I'm gonna open this box this jewelry that I picked up from Melanie All Jewelry. If you hear banging in the background, it's my son playing mini sticks. Um, I, so she is a Canadian owned brand and it's funny story. Um, she would never know it, but we actually went to the same elementary school together. Uh, she's a few years older than me. But I just remember idolizing her, just thinking she was so beautiful and just kind of funny that I would pick up her jewelry. I had someone mention to me on Instagram, just reminding me about her. Um, I had bought some other jewelry and she just kind of gave me a reminder of, you know, a local, local, you want to support local, local girl who makes jewelry and so I checked out her website and she has the most beautiful simple jewelry like simple in an elegant chic way and it ranges from a little bit more expensive to more affordable jewelry so I love love that you have that option so I will just open up the box get this beautiful little card on how to care for your jewelry and it's wrapped so beautifully and then it comes in this nice um, white box that kind of has this print on it this design it's hard to tell and then you just slide it open and inside is your jewelry so I picked out my astrology zodiac sign which is Taurus and I wanted to get the pendant so the pendant and the necklace come separately so I think all together it was about $80 Canadian with the discount code the promo code that she's got going on right now so how beautiful is that it's 
video doesn't do it justice on how really pretty and just the fine attention to detail on the jewelry. So maybe I'll try it on. I haven't tried it on. I did open it, but I didn't try it on. So I will definitely link her website in my description box and I'm gonna just pause it and then put it on. All right, so that's what it looks like on. It's so dainty and beautiful and I just love just clean, simple. I'm not about really layering too much jewelry. I just wanted something just really subtle and pretty and feminine and I absolutely love it and now I know where I'm just gonna be shopping for all of my jewelry from now on. All right, the next item that I have to show you guys that I'm unboxing, I haven't opened it yet. Um, most of this stuff I got last week, all of the stuff I got last week, so I've kept it boxed up until I've had the time. I don't really have the time today. I actually have to go. Both of my boys have a hockey camp and we have soccer today, but I have this little bit of time in between, so I wanted to finally get to open this and just show you guys. So the next is from BK Beauty and it is a brush and I saw this foundation brush on my YouTube friend Heather Austin's channel. I will link her channel and I saw her use it and she loved it and it was like always out of stock and finally when it was in stock and used her discount to get it and I always see her use it and it just looks so nice so nice so I was like I gotta try it and it actually didn't take that long to get here and I don't want to stab myself um it didn't take too long to get to Canada it took a few weeks I understand with COVID things take a little longer so it didn't take that long. All right. So, oh, there's a cute little note inside. So you get a note. It says, thank you for your order and support. I hope you love your new brushes as much as I loved making them. XOXO, Lisa. So cute. And then it's packaged inside so nicely with this little paper. And it's wrapped up so beautifully. It's got a sticker on it. I can't wait to use this. Alright, so this is the 101 brush. So pretty. So it has this nice angle to it. Oh my goodness, it is so soft. So soft softer than any brush I have by far so you can use it for your foundation concealer I'm sure you can use it for contour I saw Heather use it as a contour for blush gorgeous 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 so I will link their website as well can't wait to use this and lastly my order from KKW Beauty this took about six weeks to get in so i ordered the classic two eyeshadow palette when it came out i think i ordered it at the end of june and it took to near the middle of august for me to get it again i understand the delays we have with shipping but now I'm a little hesitant to order again from there until things settle down a little because it's a long time to wait for some makeup, especially if you want to use it right away when it's newer. So let's see what we got in here. Not packaged as beautifully, let's just say. All right. So I got a gloss, nude one. I will open that up. Here is the palette I do. I love the packaging. 
from KKW. It's so simple, so pretty clean, just so chic. It's heavy, feels very heavy. Beautiful. I'll swatch. I'll swatch some of these, not all of them, just because I kind of save that for when I try out the palette. Right. liner but it's the lipstick. Is this a lipstick? Cream lipstick, yes. It's cute. And yeah, no real special note from Kim. <laughs> the inside's cute. But the KKW, the outside just looks like a box. The other things are packaged a little bit prettier but what are you gonna do? So this is the lipstick. I got it in Nude 1. Very pretty, very beautifully packaged. So let's try to just swatch a little bit of that. Very creamy. Um, I don't want to press too hard because it feels a little fragile. It looks really nude on the skin, but there is a, there's a pink undertone to it, like a light pink undertone. so pretty the nude one in the gloss swatch that beside the lipstick so yeah the same tone just in the gloss maybe I'll actually pop some of this on my lips and see yeah that is Perfect. Perfect nude gloss for me. Feels really creamy but not overly sticky. Alright, the eyeshadow palette. What really drew me in to this palette um, was the cooler tones. I prefer a little bit more of a cooler tone taupe than I do warm, but you do have that one nice tan color to kind of warm up the colors if you need to but I prefer I'm more into yeah the cooler tones for my eyes anyways so um what I'm seeing so far is this is definitely really smooth and nice pigment but it feels like it's going to be a little built like more buildable so I just went in with this transition color right here it's matte some of these look a little bit more satin finish to them so I'm just going to go into that dark brown and that is obviously more pigmented but still I feel like the Milani shadows had a little bit more pigment to them but so so pretty. That is just this light one on the corner and maybe I will go in to, let's try, let's try this glittery foiled color. This, your foiled colors always have so much more pigment to them, but no fallout. So gorgeous. I can't wait to create a look with this palette and then I will swatch more of the colors, but so happy it finally came. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed just unboxing things with me. This is my first time doing an unboxing video and it's so fun to just kind of share the experience of your first impressions not your first impressions but just unboxing something and seeing it for the first time i've done it with clothing but not with this much makeup i will link everything that i have in this video in the description box 
and yeah if you want to check it out for yourself so I will see you guys again in my next video.